guys. So today I'm going to be doing Capricorn 5 things. If you're wondering what's been going on with the whole compatibility series, just read the info box down below. 1. Capricorns are like the Benjamin Buttons of the Zodiac. They get better with age. No, Brad Pitt is not a Capricorn. He's actually an actor. Young Capricorns can be very serious to the point of becoming too serious and hard on themselves. You'll notice Capricorn children love to be around adults. As they get older, Capricorns learn to let things go and be more easygoing. Capricorns are definitely prone to depression, but they will learn to handle this as they age and they can be happier the older they grow. The older they grow. Growing old. Two. Here's another two rolled into one because I only have five to work with. That was like a math equation made me uncomfortable. Way too many numbers. Firstly, we all know Capricorns come across as aloof. They can seem cold, especially in larger groups, but really, they're probably uncomfortable, awkward, or shy. Deep down, Capricorns are actually very warm. They can be some of the kindest, most compassionate people in the Zodiac once you get past that igloo of an exterior. They actually have the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes. I mean, not literally, but figuratively. So if you give them a chance, and they give you a chance, you might see far more than you expected. Three, Capricorns can be obsessed with time. can be very traditional and extremely nostalgic. They don't mind doing the same thing every Thanksgiving or having a weekly routine that never really changes much. Like maybe every Wednesday they meet up with a friend and, I don't know, get their nails done. Or maybe every Monday morning they go to the same coffee place and get the same coffee. Every Thanksgiving they like to go and do the same thing that they've been doing for the past 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Like they love tradition and they kind of like things to stay the same, as long as they're good things. Capricorns can actually be adaptable and it's not so much that they resist change, it could just make them sad. Sometimes they can live in the past, you know, glorifying things or putting people on a pedestal that don't deserve to be on that pedestal. This can be a big part as to why Capricorns are prone to depression. Although, they usually do know how to snap themselves out of it eventually, and I'm not saying that depression is something you can snap yourself out of, but Capricorns do seem to have like an ability to pick themselves up when they've fallen down, and it may happen time and time again through life. So you might notice that a lot of Capricorns have traditions that they hang on to for years. Or you might notice a Capricorn friend of yours can be really weird about time. Like me, for instance, I always have to know exactly what time it is. Like if I ask somebody what time it is and they tell me it's 1.30 when really it's 1.32, I don't like it. I need to know that it's 1.32. I, a lot of Capricorns might be weird with like numbers, so I don't know. Pay attention if you know any and let me know if you've noticed this before down below. Four. Capricorns and emotions do not mix. Whoa! What happened? In fact, things can get quite awkward in this department. Like I said, deep down, Capricorns are just as emotional as the rest of us, but outwardly, they have a very difficult time expressing that. They don't mind lending you a helping ear, but they're probably gonna clam up the second you start crying. Maybe you get them the best gift ever, and you give it to them, and they just give you like a really cool thank you. Like, thanks. Thanks. It is very hard for Caps to express emotions of all kinds, whether it be anger, sadness, um, <laughs> excitement, you know, whatever. And it can be extremely rare to see the highs and lows, unless you're very close to the particular Capricorn. Even if you're close to them, you still might not see it because Capricorns prefer to be emotional in private. Five, Capricorns are naturally ambitious. They find it hard to just kick back and relax because they always just feel like they have to be doing something to move forward. Capricorns can sometimes be too concerned with money, power, status, etc. But they want to be respected and they want to accomplish things. Caps aren't usually the type to come into fast or early success. But over time, it wouldn't be a surprise if they achieve the goals they want to and garner the success that they've been after. They can also be natural leaders, and while I was preparing for this video, I have to just throw out there that if any of you guys watch The Walking Dead, doesn't Rick seem like he would be a Capricorn? Like, just think of these points, and then think of him, and it's like, perfect Capricorn, right? Anyone else agree with me? Like, does he have a birthday? Do they talk about his birthday in the show? I don't think they do, but aren't you, like, wanting to know now? I want to know if he's a Capricorn. I think he is. If you think he is, let me know. If you totally disagree with me and you're like, no, Rick is a freaking Aries, or Rick is a Cancer, then whatever. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I apologize. So that is Capricorn 5 Things. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little notification button because I guess YouTube unsubscribes people and doesn't notify them about videos. So 
do that. I added some more readings on my website, a couple different options after talking to a lot of you guys um, last week. So I try to take your requests into consideration. Um, so definitely check that out if you're interested. That is pretty much it. I will see you in next week's video and have a good day or night. Thank you.